Organized crime, money laundering, drug and weapon trafficking, and racketeering are ways criminal organizations support themselves. Italian mafias like the Gambinos, motorcycle clubs such as the Devil's Disciples, and drug cartels are the most well-known organized crime groups. But which ones make the most money? Unlike legitimate businesses, organized crime leaders don't report their finances to the government, so it isn't easy to know which group truly is the richest. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more crime videos. Yakuza Members of the Japanese crime group Yakuza partake in a ritual known as Yubutsumi, which involves severing the top of your pinky finger to seek forgiveness. Sometimes the brutal practice is used if someone owes a debt and can't afford to pay it back in cash. 45% of people who have had Yubitsumi are a member of Yakuza, while 15% has had the painful procedure done twice. Unlike most criminal organizations, the Yakuza don't hide underground. They actually work with the public. After natural disasters devastated parts of Japan, the Yakuza helped search for trapped people and cleaned up damaged areas. About half of the group's profits come from legitimate businesses they invested in, such as restaurants, hotels, and pet shops. It is believed that the Yakuza group has close to $10 billion in assets in American money. The estimated annual revenue of this organization is $13 billion. There are 80,000 members of the Japanese crime organization, although reports say their membership is declining. The Triads The Triads have strong historical roots as they are long-established criminal organizations. During the Qing Dynasty, they helped the Chinese fight against Manchu, who is China's ruler. A secret society that used the name Triad in 19th century China was the first known group to use the term, where it gained popularity and spread. Triad groups aren't only located in China, but can be found anywhere in the world. Although Triad's headquarters are based in Hong Kong, they have business deals in San Francisco, Canada, and France. Unlike the Yakuza, who have helped their cities during times of need, the Triads traffic up to 100,000 people a year into the United States. The drug and human trafficking business earn Triad groups nearly $5 billion annually. Camorra The FBI and ATF may have succeeded in taking down the Italian-American crime families, but the Italian criminal enterprises in the motherland are still going strong. Camorra was started in 17th century Naples, Italy. In Sicily and Italy, crime organizations are responsible for controlling the olive oil industry. Initially formed as a prison gang, Camorra kept their close bond and kept their group together after their release. During the political riots in Italy in the 1800s, members of the Camorra offered protection services. Today they make money through weapons trafficking, extortion, sexual exploitation, and many other crimes. The Camorra crime family is estimated to make $70 billion a year. Drangheta This criminal organization is based in the Calabrian area of Italy. Although Drangheta is similar to Camorra, Drangheta's connections with the cocaine dealers in South America differentiate the two groups. The group's members are also investors of legitimate businesses, which detectives believe are used to launder their dirty money. Legitimate businesses are a must for laundering money, since the crime family makes $40 billion annually. The Drangheta gang runs the drug trade in Europe and is now making its way over to the United States. Members of the Gambino and Bonanno crime families headquartered in New York have been linked to the powerful organization. Detectives have arrested members of the Drangheta and the New York crime families for crimes related to drug trafficking. Sonsevskia Bratva Sonsevskia Bratva, a Russian mafia, is the strongest in the country, with up to 9,000 members. Sonsevskia Bratva's primary specialties are drug and human trafficking. The crime group is highly involved in the heroin trade, since it is estimated that Russia is responsible for about 12% of its use. The Sonsevskia Bratva has approximately 6,000 subgroups and 3 million members. The Russian mafia doesn't just run out of Russia and is located everywhere, even in the United States. Anatoly Knyazov is the current leader of the organization organization. According to Fortune magazine, the Sonsevsky Abratva make $8 billion each year. Sinaloa Cartel Currently, the Sinaloa Cartel is the largest drug cartel operating in Mexico. Cartel members work as a middleman between South American drug lords and the American market up north. The foreign policy stated that the Sinaloa Cartel had trade routes through southern states like Arizona, Texas, and parts of California. The Sinaloa Cartel is estimated to take in $3 billion a year. El Chapo Guzman is the former leader of this dangerous yet affluent gang, but in 2016, authorities recaptured the wanted criminal. Other businesses the Sinaloa Cartel is associated with include pirating and mining. 
Los Zetas. The Mexican drug cartels are considered a $13 billion business, and Los Zetas is one of the most successful cartels in the country. Los Zetas was founded in 1997, and the members of Los Zetas are well known for their violence and structure. Members have used threats and scare tactics to get the media not to publish information about their illegal drug trafficking business. The New York-based committee to protect journalists stated since 2006, dozens of journalists have been murdered or gone missing. Brutal acts like torture and beheadings are typical for Los Zetas. After killing and carving up their victims, members of the Los Zetas cartel will leave body parts strewn over the Mexican roads to scare rival gangs. In October 2012, the longtime leader of the cartel was killed in a shootout with Marines. Medellin Cartel Although no longer in existence, the Medellin Cartel was once the wealthiest criminal enterprise in the world. The cartel's success was because of its founder Pablo Escobar. Even years after his reign, Pablo Escobar is still remembered as one of the wealthiest gangsters ever with a $5 billion annual income. Allegedly, the Medellin Cartel spent thousands of dollars on rubber bands to wrap up their giant stacks of money. The cartel's transportation systems to ship their drugs worldwide include boats, airplanes, and submarines. Over $20 million was earned by the Medellin cartel annually. Knights Templar Cartel The Knights Templar Cartel is a Mexican group that made money importing drugs to the United States. Drugs like methamphetamine and marijuana were the main exports. Members of the cartel would use the border between the United States and Mexico to transport their drugs. Besides drug trafficking, the Knights Templar Cartel was known for its violent nature and wouldn't hesitate to commit murder. In 2014, Mexican authorities took over $14 million worth of items from different locations within the Knights Templar Cartel. Golf Cartel The Golf Cartel is one of the oldest drug cartels in Mexico and has an estimated $9 billion net worth. Initially, the cartel strictly operated out of Mexico, but today they have bases in Europe and the United States. Besides drugs, the cartel has been involved in high-profile murders and abductions. Despite most of the cartel's leaders being incarcerated, the cartel is still in operation. They are still operating and are one of the world's most successful cartels. During the 1990s, the golf cartel was worth over $10 billion. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and like for more videos.